now is 718. Let's take a live look over Lake Tahoe on this Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. We've already seen some snow flurries out there. Look at those beautiful puffy clouds. More activity is on the way. And for more on that, let's go now to Eileen Javora. Yeah, typically I ask the family to take me to Tahoe on Mother's <laughs> Day to sit by the water and have a nice brunch. I said, let's put it off maybe a week or two. And head up there <laughs> when idea. it's warmer. Uh, yeah, we're going to see some snow at Tahoe into the afternoon and we are seeing clear conditions right now across the valley, but things will change late morning, midday. The clouds will be here. We might even get a little quick brief shower or sprinkle and then the afternoon is just going to be blustery here in Sacramento as highs will only be in the 60s. Boy, it wasn't yesterday gorgeous with highs in the 70s. Lots of sunshine. So right now we're at 46 in Sacramento. Wind is still calm for now. That front has not arrived yet. Stockton, we're also starting out quite nice with bright sunshine. We're at 50 degrees. Wind out of the west at 13 miles per hour. And hello to you in Modesto. Happy Mother's Day. We're at 50 degrees. Wind out of the northwest at 9 miles per hour. And in Fairfield, it's been a little bit breezy. Temperatures right now 45 degrees. Wind nearly at 10 miles an hour out of the southwest. And yes, at Lake Tahoe, we've actually seen a couple of flurries already. Wind reported at 14 miles an hour, but I've seen some gusts above 20 miles an hour at the airport. And then at Donner Summit, we've had some gusts to nearly 40 miles an hour. <clears throat> So this weather system is starting to pull into the northwest coast. This is a cold front that will be passing through late this morning. So let's time it out with Futurecast. We'll show you that by late this morning, 10, 11 o'clock, noon or so, band of cloud cover will shift through. And this is when we could see a brief shower in the valley, places like Sacramento or Stockton, even Modesto, possibly Fairfield, and even into the lower foothills. We might again see that brief shower late this morning, midday as that front arrives. And notice the snow by late this morning and midday really starts to fill in over Interstate 80 and Highway 50. Then those snow showers continue in the Sierra. We might even see a couple of showers in the foothills. Over the valley though, late this afternoon, we're just gonna see partly cloudy skies likely. We will continue to see those partly cloudy skies into tomorrow with maybe a pop up shower during the afternoon on Monday and then up into the Sierra. We're going to continue to see that snow possibly six inches by late tonight, early tomorrow morning, maybe even a dusting of snow down to places like Pollock Pines at around 4000 feet or so, and then maybe even a little bit lower than that by tomorrow morning. 3500 feet can't rule out seeing a little bit of a dusting of snow. <clears throat> so the Sierra gusty conditions throughout the day. We will continue to see the snow showers around Truckee and South Lake Tahoe, mostly rain showers around Pollock Pines. Temperatures in the 50s today in the foothills with scattered rain showers during the afternoon hours. We might see a brief shower in the Delta. Temperatures today only in the 60s. We're likely going to see temperatures in the 60s as well during the afternoon today in Davis and Elk Grove. Again, highs in the 60s. Tomorrow we might see a brief shower with temperatures in the 60s, also in the 60s on Tuesday, and then gradually we will warm up back into the 70s, even 80s by Friday. And believe it or not, Latina, we're talking 90s, possibly going into Whoa. next weekend. So what a swing after a gusty, blustery Mother's Day. Only in the 60s today, we could be back in the 90s okay. by next weekend. Now, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Wow. Okay, let's avoid 100 for now if we can. <laughs> for now. All right, Eileen, no promises, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you.